Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain you how to create an app using free app development web tool called the Thunkable. So let's get started. Open your web browser, type the URL www.thunkable.com. Then the sign in page appear. As I have already signed in with my Google account, you uh, I can straight away click on get started. If you have not signed in, if you are using this for the first time, you can click on sign in and uh, give your you can log in using your Google email account. So as I have already logged in, I can straight away click on get started. So here the screen where we start creating our new app. If you have created some apps before using Thunkable, all those apps will be listing here. But if you are new, this section will be blank. So let's click on create new app. In this window, it asks you for a name for your new project. In this series of video, I'm going to guide you how to create a translator app. Therefore, I give my project name as translator app. After that, the category. You can choose the category uh, from here uh, or else as this is an introductory video for you. So I'll just keep it blank and also you can uh, make it public or private but if you click it private you will have to upgrade and pay some money uh, so for the moment i will keep this one public and don't forget to tick this option where you can drag and drop uh, interface icons right where you can drag and drop icons to your interface then uh, go down and click on create button okay now we are in the designing screen. So in this designer window, it contains four panels. As you can see, first the design, then the blocks, then the screen one, and this side, you can see the properties panel. Have a look at the screen one section. Now this is the area where we uh, design and develop our app. So actually this is the user interface or the interface of our app. We can apply background colors and we can place certain objects or the components onto our app. First, look at the design panel. In the design panel, on the top part, you can see uh, whatever the components that you have added onto your screen. At the moment, we have not added any components. So you can see screen one. Then below there, you can see add components. So all the components that you can add onto your app or you can add onto the screen are listed here. There can be buttons, labels, images, text input, and uh, some other options like that. So once you, uh, either you can click on it and drag and drop those components onto your screen. So then we'll uh, study about the properties panel. These properties panels give us the properties that we can set for the components that we place on our screen. For the moment, we have only the screen. So whatever the, uh, it shows the name of the screen. If you click on these three dots here, you can rename the screen. Uh, as this is introductory, I'm not going to change the name. I just leave as it is. And below there, you can change the background color uh, for the screen. So just click on this down arrow and choose any color that you like. Then once you are done, you can click outside. Instead of a background color, you can apply a background picture as well. Once you click there, it will give you options either to upload a file from your computer or you can type a URL there. Right, 
so then you can just go down and also you can uh, select certain uh, if you want you can uh, set a status bar style and uh, color for that and also you can set the orientation for your screen uh, then when we come to the blocks panel so this is the most important section so when you go to the blocks panel it gives you it is the place actually actually it is the place where we write the programming codes now in this thunkable we are not writing programming code instead we have set of blocks when we click on the certain components now at the moment we have only the screen one so when you click on screen one here it lists all the blocks that we can use for our screen so you can simply drag these components that drag these uh, blocks onto the screen and arrange them in proper order in order to uh, make your app works if you are interested in learning about how to use these blocks join with my next video you can like this video if you think this was useful and also you can subscribe to my youtube channel to follow for more videos Thank you for joining. Have a nice day.